in this video we will see regarding rim sign and reverse rim sign in KUB imaging contrast imaging basically CECT or CEMRI most commonly it is being described with the cases of contrast enhanced CT if we take a normal kidney whenever we do a contrast imaging both the cortex and medulla get enhanced and the contrast gets excreted through the collecting system so what is this uh, rim sign is see this is the normal contrast enhanced ct of kub just to show you the normal enhancement of the cortex subsequently medulla then the contrast goes into the excretory system so this is a normal enhancement of the kidney what is this rim sign rim sign means only the periphery or the border get enhanced as as we see here this is the vein where rim is shown in kidney it is almost similar to this only like if only the periphery of the structure is getting enhanced that means like we can describe that as a rim sign when it can happen only if the kidney cortex is getting enhanced more than the medulla then we can call it as a rim sign but why this occurs in kidney even though the main renal artery supplies the entire cortex the outer rim that is the capsule of the kidney is being supplied by the perforating branch which is the earlier branch of the renal artery so sometimes this outer part might be getting the blood supply the inner part might get necrosed so that's why the outer part might be enhancing with the cortex whereas the inner part in the cortex there is no blood supply there won't be any enhancement this we can call as a rim sign so what is reverse rim sign reverse rim sign is nothing but if this inside getting enhanced and the outside is not getting enhanced that is the reverse rim sign for example if the contrast is coming in the medulla and there is no enhancement in the cortex this is the reverse rim sign i will show you the ct this is the ct showing the rim sign as we see here there is a thin rim of enhancement of the cortex it is because of the outside perforating branches supplying the capsule and probably one or two few mm's of the outer cortex and there is medullary enhancement the cortex is not getting enhanced these kind of condition commonly seen in acute cortical necrosis even in acute pyelonephritis whenever there is some blood supply reduction even in renal artery stenosis also where there is no blood supply over here only the cortex getting enhanced and few description have been given for severe acute tubular necrosis also but whenever there is mcq you can consider this option also but clinically most often we see this in acute cortical necrosis so this is the opposite of that the reverse in rim sign even even the cortical perforating branches nothing is visible over enhancement is not there only the medulla is getting enhanced the outer cortex is not enhanced so this is reverse rim sign the inside part is enhanced the outside part is not enhanced better seen or there is another image showing the reverse rim sign see over here this is the ct image the medulla getting enhanced the outer margin of the cortex is not enhanced this is the reverse rim sign so the difference between rim sign and reverse rim sign is so one more thing where we will see the reverse rim sign this is also seen in acute cortical necrosis only when the cortex is totally destroyed that means there is no enhancement of the cortex even the perforating everything is gone so that is the severe acute cortical necrosis and this is more often so the seen in acute cortical necrosis in acute cortical necrosis both rim sign and reverse rim sign is seen only the uh, finding varies either this can be seen or that can be seen does it have any correlation with the severity basically no it is just a finding only so in rim sign and reverse rim sign what happens in rim sign only the outer area of, of the kidney getting enhanced mainly the outer border of the cortex because of the perforating branches seen in acute cortical necrosis also seen in pyelonephritis can be seen in renal artery stenosis or infarct whenever there is a 
total cutoff of blood supply secondary to renal artery stenosis. It is not a typical finding of renal artery stenosis. Whenever there is a blood supply cutoff, and rarely in severe acute tubular necrosis. Where in whereas in reverse rim sign, there is no cortical enhancement, only the medullary enhancement by the contrast. This is typically seen in acute cortical necrosis. So this is the difference between rim sign and the reverse rim sign. Typically described with the contrast enhanced CT, but also seen in contrast enhanced MRI. Also, we can use the description whenever.